Hey guys, what's up Capricorn? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with. Somebody around you. Oh, shit. So fluid, I need to. Also, remember, it's a general reading. <laughs> so just take what's yours. Leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. Something's going to change. What I heard was you want you want up you want up them you want up them. All right, immediate future for Capricorn. You did the damn thing with something. The Four of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Chariot, Cancer energy. <clears throat> Pretty straightforward. Somebody missed an opportunity here or didn't take initiative towards it. And by that, I mean the Ace of Cups. So this is love. This could be like just feelings in general. This could be something that's brand new, rekindling. But with the Four of Cups, it's like that cup, sorry about the glare, was dangling right there. And for whatever reason, this could be maybe you had other things going on. Maybe, shit, you rejected the offer. Maybe it was doubt. Because the Ace of Cups has to do with self-love as well. But it looks like now that opportunity is coming back around. And it may move forward this time. Show me this Four of Cups for Capricorn, please. The Two of Cups are... Something was trying to move forward here. And I don't know if someone was trying to communicate. This could be somebody that you work with. Could be an age difference. But um, it looks like somebody's been ignoring their feelings. The feelings are here with the Two of Cups on both sides. The feelings are mutual. But with the Four of Cups, I mean, it, it could have been any reason. I mean, it could have been, like I said, self-doubt. Maybe you were busy with other things. Maybe, hell, maybe it's a situation you got set up with. It said, screw it all together. Maybe all to love. Well, there's a devil. That's your energy, though. <clears throat> Could be dealing with the younger air sign. Doesn't have to be the nine of swords. This person's really nervous to approach you, or um, maybe you have some guards up towards them, or just a hard time like letting love in. I don't know which way. It depends on what happened. If this is somebody that you cut out in the past, so like they're mirroring your energy. Really nervous here, but it looks like that's. So sometimes though with the Nine of Swords, that can be anxiety and fear. So self-doubt definitely may have played a part. However, I see the Queen of Wands down here. So um, yeah, maybe you have other options. Maybe you did get fed up. Maybe just something that you just haven't been paying no mind to. Show me this Ace of Cups for Capricorn. Well, missed opportunity is being represented. Another go around the Six of Pentacles. Well, let's see which way that's going because that can go a couple of different ways. Um, but since we have the Two of Wands, I mean, it's, you're you're moving towards it this time. It is movement. Definitely could be a Sagittarius. You may choose to let go of an X actually. The Page of Swords. Yeah. Still feels like somebody is very hesitant there. If there's travel plans, there may be some type of delay. Tell me about the Two of Wands. Because the Two of Wands is where we get to either that choice. Whether it's between two people or just like which path to take. Maybe worried like you're not going to get back what you put into it or there's something else kind of attached to it. The Seven of Swords. At the very least, you got someone scarring. For some, this may be around a third party situation. It doesn't have to be. It could just be a younger Aquarius. 
if you do something like in the public eye, or like you, you may be like, uh, seen, um, something that you do, social media, that's kind of where the watching would be happening. Show me this chariot for the outcome for Capricorn. So the chariot is Cancer energy. The star. And the nine of pentacles. You're definitely moving forward. The, the nine of pentacles is a card of being single. So it feels like, especially with the star and the chariot, like you're getting things on track. You're really focusing on that self-love. Like yourself, putting time and energy into yourself with the star there. Um, there's kind of two ways this is going. Uh, this is still attached to you, A. And B, you're on your way to something that you wish for. Something like you really want. Something that you dream of. You got the world there, which is your energy again. But there's some type of chapter. It looks like you're not, you're not either repeating old ways or you're finally like focusing on yourself in a way that's like getting you on track to be able to get to whatever this wish is that you want. You have Ten of Pentacles. Your money is about to come all the way up. The Six of Cups. I think you will have somebody come around eventually. Yeah. You'll have like a reconciliation coming or dating. It, it depends what you're looking for. If you're waiting for communication. <laughs> this is almost like something that... Whatever this is, it may not have been like equal give and take here. Five of Swords. Well, even even if that's around self, like how especially if it's financially, something may not have been giving you back what you were putting into it. it could be like an apprenticeship or something like that. And now something here is about to pay off, like literally financially. This could be something around the car, but you're definitely on your way to like some type of wish here. The Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, you're very much about your business. Alright, Capricorn, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, the information's below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.